I've been spending so much time working on my LEGO City and spending time with my kids that I haven't even had a look at all of the new sets coming out this summer. There's over 100 new LEGO sets coming out this summer. It is actually crazy. So today in this video, we're going to take a quick look at all of the new releases. I've done my best to break down the 100 sets by theme and we're just going to go through it set by set. All the prices that you see here today are in US dollars. This one here is coming out on June 1st and I'm pretty hyped about it. It is an upscaled Lego minifigure. We did get the Harry Potter and Hermione 2 pack, but ever since then there's been no additions to this series. So I'm glad to see that they're continuing it. I guess we did get the pirate as well, but that was exclusive to the Lego house. It wasn't actually distributed through the Lego website, so it made it pretty difficult to get. I think it looks pretty cool. He's got like a little bit of construction or gears turning in his head there, which is... Pretty interesting, pretty different. It also comes with a minifigure, which is a representation of the mega figure. That's what I'm going to call it, I guess. And I guess those gears there are actually like a control panel for that minifigure. So you can actually sit inside and control the mega figure. So I wanted to start with this here because I think it's something different. And I'm excited that they're continuing this theme. And I've always said I want to see like Star Wars ones like this or superheroes or even other things like a spaceman. Like that would be pretty cool too. The three in one department is getting some new stuff. This is the space roller coaster. This roller coaster actually looks pretty cool. It's got like a mini Saturn V rocket there and all sorts of little accessories. Also the baby space fan. Look at that little uh, ride right there. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's awesome. But I don't think I'm going to get it. Mainly in my amusement park, I like to integrate the Lego creator expert rides. These ones just aren't really powered up. They're not the same scale and I just don't have enough space to display stuff like this. But it is pretty cool because you can transfer transform it into a drop ride and also a spinning ride like this here. So you got the three different options, which keeps it pretty interesting. We're also getting a new creator three in one building. Now keep in mind the release date right here. This one's actually August 1st, so it's not in June, but this actually looks like a really nice uh, three in one building. Lots of interesting building styles there. I always like taking these and then supersizing them either by getting multiple of them and using the parts from two sets to create like a more complete version of this or just supplementing it with uh, my own parts. But it looks like there's a few different options there as well. So this set offers you the ability to create uh, several different structures for your LEGO City. We're also getting a new Technic John Deere set. It is a skitter. This set has 1,492 pieces and has a suggested retail price of 200 US dollars. I'm sure this is going to make a lot of John Deere fans happy and a lot of Technic fans happy as well. Now some of these I had to dig around online to find the images of. This one here is a Technic NASA Mars Rover that's coming out this summer as well. And they've also decided to make the Technic Bugatti Bolade in blue as well. This is somewhat of a new theme. It's called Gabby's Dollhouse, and I'd say this is the primary set in this new theme. There's also the Kitty Fairies Garden Party, which is a part of the Gabby's Dollhouse line as well. And also Gabby and Mercat's Ship and Spa. And there's a new botanical set coming out as well. This is the Lotus Flowers. I'm excited about this new LEGO City vehicle coming out as well. This is the Land Rover Classic Defender. This looks like a great little build for $14.99. It comes with one minifigure, 150 pieces, and has that Land Rover name. There's also a Jack Rabbit. This one comes with a pretty neat little sun build there. It's like surrounded by the clouds and also a nice little tree as well. Small little set for uh, 19 dollars It looks like it opens up and has some interior detail there. I personally wouldn't take a bite of this birthday cake, but it is also coming out this summer for $14.99. Just a fun way to wish somebody a happy birthday. And look at that, it even turns into a slide. That's pretty funny. I did reveal this one just the other day, and this is the Bat Cave Shadow Box. It's funny, the press kit told me that this was going to be $450, US but here it is at $400. US There was an error in that press kit. Now, there's been some controversy in regards to this set. Some people are not happy with the design that was selected here. I do agree to a certain extent that maybe the parts could be reallocated to build a better diorama of an actual bat cave. But I think this is something that the Lego group has never really done before. The shadow box is going to be very functional as it opens up and also has the knobs on the back, which will actually power uh, some of the functions within the bat cave. And it comes with the Batmobile and some pretty awesome looking minifigures. But once again, I guess they could have reallocated some of those parts uh, to more of like an interior and to build an actual bat cave. But I think this is something different. And when I see it in person at the Lego store, I think it's going to be more appealing because you're going to see the actual size of it and the actual displayability of it. I'm very curious to see this one in person, that's for sure. 
You still with me? Because we've got lots more to cover. Next up, we're talking about the new Dreams theme. This is the Nightmare Shark ship. So Dreams is a new theme that's coming out, and it looks pretty wild. Like, take a look at this shark ship. <laughs> what? It's got, like, this giant eyeball and this shark mouth here. It looks interesting, but I, I can't say that I'm in the market for this style of set. It has 1,389 pieces, so it's a decent size. And it just has so many interesting pieces and the minifigures look pretty wild as well. But like, what is going on here? This thing looks crazy. It even has wheels on it. So yeah, that thing there retails for $140. Now there's a whole bunch of sets coming out in this series. This is the Dream Village. It actually looks pretty decent. I like these little buildings. They could go in like the campground or something like that. But I, I'm just not in the market for it, I don't think. There's also this wild, fantastical treehouse. Fantastical indeed. Like, whoa, look at all those interesting parts. This guy right here, I just realized he's holding like a pencil. There's also the stable of dream creatures. Look at this animal build right here. It has like the coral reef as the antlers. And this little building right here looks pretty neat. <laughs> and this van. Holy Toledo. There must be like a series on this thing here because it says watch series online. So there must be some sort of animated show about this oh that van actually looks pretty clean like when it looks like that there without like the legs this actually looks pretty clean not too bad there's also mr oz's space bus which is like a school bus rocket ship i guess a pegasus flying horse you know lego's gone through quite a few different themes as of late there's this new dreams lineup now there was also hidden side and also video this bunny rabbit's pretty crazy Overall, I can see these appealing to a certain age demographic, like they are seven plus sets, but also there's lots of interesting parts and part usage within them. Like take a look at this, it is a crocodile car. Look at this little figure on top of the car. It's a crocodile built into a car. This is like just imagination overload for me. And the last one that we're having a look at in the Dreams lineup is the Matteo and Z-Blob the Robot, which is like a mech build. Comes with like this giant blaster as well, almost looks like a big paintball gun. Another lineup is uh, Monkey Kid, of course. They are going to continue issuing more Monkey Kid sets, and this one here is Monkey Kid's Cloud Airship. The Dragon of the East Palace. Holy cow, $190. This one here is 2,364 pieces. It is quite the palace, but I have like zero Monkey Kid in my collection. This nothing has really like appealed to me to the point where I actually want to purchase it. Once again, it has great parts and great part usage, but just the theme in general, like looks really attractive from a certain point of view, but it just never really appealed to me to the point where I actually want to purchase it and integrate it into my collection on the shelves or within the city. The Mighty Azure Lion and also the Guardian Dragon. Now I did point these out in a previous video, but there is some new Sonic the Hedgehog sets coming out this summer as well. And also something I haven't touched based on is actually the new Donkey Kong sets coming out. Is that a new plant element? Whoa. Like I said, everybody, this is actually my first time having a look at uh, these sets with you here today. Of course, I've seen like thumbnails and stuff like that of other people covering this style of set online, but I haven't actually had a physical look at these sets. These new plant elements look pretty nice, and the Donkey Kong build is actually pretty sweet as well. I don't collect any of the Mario stuff, so I don't plan on getting any of the King Kong stuff either. And holy Toledo, I just said King Kong. <laughs> I meant Donkey Kong, but we're also getting Dixie Kong's Jungle Jam expansion set. They should make some King Kong sets though. There you go. I want a big King Kong buildable figure. That's what we need. This is a uh, Diddy Kong's minecart ride expansion set and that's a pretty cool like train track system that we've got there or like a minecart system It'd be pretty neat to see this mine car go through this track i haven't played mario in a long time but we're getting rambi the rhino expansion i have not played to the point where i've seen rambi this is the lego disney villain icon set i love display pieces and like 18 plus sets i always say that's my favorite theme this is an 18 plus disney villains set you get four great minifigures you've got the evil queen maleficent jafar and also gaston who's eaten four dozen eggs probably <laughs> we've got the apple like the tape right and then some books and a pocket watch i really like this set here this is super clean 1540 pieces it's going to display really well i'm definitely in the market for this one here this is the style of thing that i like 
it's just sort of that 18 plus set that really just appeals to me. Honestly, I, I this is the type of thing that I like. 130 bucks for 1,540 pieces. So the price actually isn't outrageous either. So I, I really like this one here. This one here is 553 pieces. It retails for $45. I like the concept of this one here that you get all of these different characters. I personally would like to see some of these characters in a larger scale. Like for example, if this was like a two pack and it was a Beauty and the Beast theme and you got a larger scale of these little miniature builds, I think that would be pretty neat. But I think Jose is really gonna want this one here. Uh, I like these two characters. I also like uh, Squirt and also Nemo. That's pretty cool as well. I'd love to see those maybe in a larger scale, but I understand why they did it uh, in this style. It's got 553 pieces. It's $45. It's a reasonable price point. I don't think I'm going to get this one here. I guess I'll leave that up to Jose. I am a fan of it. If the, That's a nice print piece, actually. These are really nice print pieces now that I have a look at that. I think the more I look at it, the more it'll grow on me. And I just think that if I got like these two in a larger set, like they're like larger buildable figures, or maybe like an actual clock that works, that would be pretty cool. Like a big Cogsworth clock, <laughs> that would be a neat set. But I don't know, this thing is like not really that cohesive. And I always look for larger cohesive sets, like the set that we were having a look at prior to this. So this one, like I understand i like it but it's not like my number one i don't really want to get this like as my number one set you know but me i always just like collect what i want and i always compliment things that i like and i understand why they produce sets like this like this is like the disney princess battle pack you get like all the different disney princesses and of course it appeals to fans of disney princesses and also the age demographic that is into this what do we got next here this is the 100 years of animation i'm not a huge fan of this one yeah, it's not for me. But as I mentioned, as I talk about these themes like Monkey Kid or Ninjago, I'll say that it's not for me. I just won't spend a whole lot of time talking about it simply because once again, it's not for me. Like I just not a huge fan of some of these sets. But then they come out with like big epic sets and this is sort of more for me right here, right? This is the Ninjago City Markets, everybody. I did not even do a reveal video on this set. What is wrong with me? I actually got the press kit and actually had a look at the subject line. It said Ninjago and I didn't even bother to look into it. And it didn't ring a bell that, oh my gosh, maybe Ninjago City Markets is in that press kit. So that's why I didn't do a reveal video on this massive set with 6,163 pieces. This thing looks amazing. Of course, it's going to pair up beautifully with the other sets. It comes with a mountain of minifigures, like a really cool tram or like gondola there. This thing looks super neat. I am totally on board for this one here, but pretty much everything else in the Ninjago line, like besides a few things, I guess, I really enjoy the uh, Ninjago City sets and the Ninjago City Garden, Ninjago City Docks. I say that they are some of the best builds ever because there's just so much different part usage and I just love all the different uh, colors, building styles, and the way that they're all different and unique. There's not a whole lot of repetition and the way that sort of everything comes together is pretty magnificent. So I'll for sure be getting this one. I recently removed my Ninjago City sets from the race platform and put them on this floating shelf above the zoo. I can't believe that the Ninjago City Markets is two base plates and has a bigger piece count than both of these sets. It is actually crazy. Am I going to be able to fit that up top here? Well, I've got a base plate of room right here and approximately a base plate of room over there, but I'd have to move my Destiny's Bounty. So if I do decide to get this set, I would probably put it with the other Ninjago City sets up top here, but how they would be arranged, I'm not too sure. I already have the other three. I'm probably going to be getting that one there because it is pretty cool. There's also another Destiny's Bounty coming out. This one here is 1,739 pieces. It's called the Destiny's Bounty Race Against Time. Retails for $160. I have one of the Destiny's Bounty, but they've actually created multiple different versions of this ship. But then there's just like a huge amount of other Ninjago sets that are coming out in this new wave this summer. And I can confidently say that I won't be picking up any of these. Just because once again, like even when I get press kits for this stuff, I don't even bother to look at it. And it's nothing against the theme at all. It's just that I truly don't know the source material because I haven't seen the show. And I always say, if you're going to collect Lego, pick and choose your themes because you can't collect it all. With that said, I do love things that can be integrated into Lego cities. I actually have the Temple of Erjitsu 
nicely displayed in my Lego city on top of a mountain. And this one here, which is the Temple of the Dragon Energy Cores, actually looks pretty good. I love that tree build and the look of the temple. So I'll say good things about this one because I could see myself maybe getting this one and integrating it into the Lego city. Actually, now that I think about it, we also have the Temple of Spinjitzu integrated into the city as well. So I do like these temple builds. Why don't we talk a little bit about Harry Potter now? We've got uh, some new Harry Potter brickheads coming out. I like this one here. It's Harry Potter and Chow Chang, and they're coming in their Quidditch outfits. So of course, Harry's in Gryffindor. He's got the golden snitch there. And Chow Chang is in Ravenclaw. Another Quidditch themed Brickhead 2 pack. This is Draco Malfoy and also Cedric Diggory. You may not like a minister, but you can't deny it. Dumbledore's got style. It's a famous line from Kingsley, and uh, we're also getting Tonks in this new Brickheads 2 pack. So we recently got the massive, like, UCS style Hogwarts Express. And now we're getting a smaller version of the Hogwarts Express, which looks like it'd be pretty easy to power up. However, I don't think it includes power functions. Normally they mark that on the box and I didn't see it in the description. So I'd imagine that would be up to you to power it up. I'm not sure if they're going to include that in the instructions or not. And this one here isn't at uh, platform nine and three quarters. Sorry, I'm losing my voice. Too many sets for my voice to handle. <laughs> but this one here is actually at the Hogsmeade station. So it is a little bit different. You get uh, some great looking minifigures there. Uh, so that's pretty neat. And you know what? I guess they should always have a Hogwarts Express playset on the shelves, I guess. I mean, they recently retired the other one. So I don't think it was necessary. And they recently also just like came out with that massive one. So I don't know if they need to come out with another Hogwarts Express. It's a bit crazy in my opinion, but oh well, here it is. It is what it is, right? We got one. A buildable figure of Dobby the House Elf. I don't know. I like this one here. I think it's pretty cute. It sort of reminds me of uh, the Baby Groot buildable character, right? It comes with uh, the sock and also the cake. It probably could, like he could probably be a little bit larger, maybe a little bit more intricate, but it's 403 pieces. I guess maybe they wanted to keep that price down. This is only $35. So it's a pretty neat display piece for 35 bucks. I don't know how I feel about the Expecto Patronum. It looks interesting. It's $70 for 754 pieces. It comes with the Harry Potter minifigure. And it looks like you can actually rebuild it into a couple different Patronus charms. So you got Lupins and also Harry Potters. So I guess it comes with a Lupin minifigure as well. I don't know how I feel about this. I think it's like a good display piece once again, but I don't know. I don't know if it was necessary. <laughs> it's pretty neat, I guess, but it just seems sort of random to me. Once again, I'm having a look at this for the first time with you here today. Quidditch trunk. I don't know what this is about. Okay, you get a small little Quidditch pitch there. The different house colors, the rings. Like a training game, I guess? I don't know. Like, I guess it's neat. It looks like it's going to have some moving functions so these characters can like move back and forth like the minifigures based on the Technic builds in there. But I don't know. I, I just would like to see something better in regards to like a quidditch pitch it all packs away into this trunk i guess i don't know okay sure i guess so i literally have not got a single one of these this is the battle at hogwarts look at that you got harry and uh voldy going off there and there's uh neville about to uh take care of nagini for us yeah it's, it's pretty neat i mean i i once again don't collect any of these i've seen like the final product where you combine all of these to create one giant castle and it actually looks crazy but i haven't taken the time to collect any of these just because i only collect the large harry potter stuff or like this i guess the smaller stuff that can display really well like dobby the hungarian horntail and fox the phoenix and just things that are nice display pieces so they gave us the diagon alley set and now they're giving us the weasley wizard wheezes as its own little modular building it also looks like it comes with like the owl post, I would assume that is there. And <laughs> that's funny. This like puking character. <laughs> that's pretty neat. Yeah, I don't know. Like they, they gave us the Diagon Alley. So now they're just giving us the Weasley Wizard Weezes for the people who don't want to fork out the money for Diagon Alley, which I can appreciate, I guess. They want to give you a smaller version of this iconic building in Lego form. So now you can just build like a facade of this and it has all the interesting details inside so i guess they're just doing it for the people that aren't interested in diagon alley which i guess i can appreciate because this is a very popular building and i understand why they would do this i'm personally not going to get this because i have diagon alley so this appeals to the people that don't have diagon alley 
Oh, I was right. That is the Owl Post. So that is the last Harry Potter set coming out this summer. Friends actually has some really cool stuff coming out. This one is pretty neat. I think this is the best one. It is the Botanical Gardens. Look at that large dome on the top there with some butterflies, a nice tree inside there. That actually looks like pretty classy. You could get a couple of those and create a really neat looking modular building. 1,072 pieces. I gotta say that Friends, although I don't collect a whole lot of it, is really stepping up their game, but you would definitely need to get a couple of these to make it a complete version of a botanical garden. It retails for 80 bucks, has 1,072 pieces. And then just a bunch of stuff that I can't find on the uh, Lego website right now, but I found it on jaysbrickblog.com. So thank you so much, Jay. Uh, there's like this cabin here, this little catamaran, which looks pretty interesting. And this building right here, which looks pretty crazy. Look at that. It's like multicolored, like skyscraper. Whoa, too many colors for me. But I'm sure the building techniques are pretty awesome. I like the slide coming down from the top floor to the third floor. That looks pretty interesting. Some like under, oh no, some beach stuff right here as well. Uh, yeah, all sorts of stuff coming out in the Lego Friends lineup. And some of it looks pretty good. But I think the highlight is actually that botanical set there. But yeah, this was all found on Jay's Brick blog. So thanks, man. In addition to that, there's a bunch of new city stuff coming out that I also found on his website. This thing looks crazy. This is a new boat that will certainly float. It comes with an orca whale, a helicopter, and this is the Arctic Explorer ship. So there's a bunch of new Arctic stuff coming out, such as this submarine as well, which looks pretty interesting. There's also a shipwreck down here with a huge shark and an underwater exploration ship that comes with this stingray and also a hammerhead shark. This family house has a pretty modern vibe to it. I sort of like it. I also like the little dog that it comes with. Overall, though, I don't think I'll be working this into my Lego city, but that greenhouse is pretty chill. Speaking of chill, take a look at this ice cream shop. And this apartment building has a really modern feel to it. And check out that scooter in the bottom left of the image there. I don't know. If I were to get something like this, it would for sure have to be like modularized and put into my city, but I'm running out of space in my city. Same with this downtown set here. This building looks wild. Think of the things that you could do with that. I love that pedway connecting the two buildings. There's a new snowmobile that comes with a couple seals. Those are so cute. Pretty basic looking car wash here and a crazy ski and climbing center. Look at that ski hill and also the rock wall going up the side there. You can climb up and ski down. <laughs> it's like an extreme sport area. I don't know, that's, that's out there, but I appreciate the concept. And last but not least in the LEGO City lineup, we've got a brand new skate park. Got some interesting handrails and jumps and half pipes there. Also a little basketball net. Looks pretty killer for a little skate park. I think it's one of the better skate parks that LEGO's ever issued. Yeah, so there's a huge amount of new stuff coming out this summer. The Bad Cave Ninjago, uh, some Technic stuff, all sorts of like dreams and three-in-one stuff. Harry Potter, also the Disney villain set, which looks pretty amazing. Donkey Kong and roller coasters and uh, all sorts of stuff. It's actually pretty nuts. They do this to us every summer. There is just so much to choose from. Really got to pick and choose your battles, even me. Like, there's no way I can integrate all this stuff into the Lego room. I pretty much covered it all except for like... The Jurassic Park stuff that I've been covering for a long time. But I did have a look at the website here today for the first time with you guys. So I'm sharing my honest opinion on a lot of this stuff. I will be picking up things like that awesome minifigure. And then I'll be leaving most of this at the Lego store as it just doesn't really match my collection. Which sets are you most hyped about? You let me know by commenting below. Remember like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff. And thank you so much for coming on by. Have yourselves a fantastic day.